up guys it is two pro for you games or adam and in this video i'm going to be showing you the top five weapons you should use in call of duty ghost extinction on the new map mayday here all right so coming in at number five is the chainsaw the chainsaw is located in the second section of the map and the reason why i have this at number five is first off if you're not running the specialist class reload time is really really long and kind of annoying really that goes for all smgs now if you are running the specialist class it's not too bad um also it is an lmg so you have to kind of slug around with it it does slow you down and especially on May Day, you have to move around a lot on this map things are close quarters and again with that reload time that reload time can really screw you over on this map again because it's so close quarters and you have to do things really really quickly so coming in at number four is the lsat this gun is also located in the second section of the map you do have to use the drill on one of the doors to get to this weapon but just like the chainsaw without the specialist class it can really screw you over like i said the cold close quarters things lmgs really aren't the best on this map um, but this gun has a little bit more accuracy because you can aim down sight and I feel that it just does a little bit more damage. It just feels a little bit more powerful than the chainsaw. Again, that's mainly coming from the accuracy increase with the chainsaw you're hip firing and with this you can aim down sight. Uh, pretty much every gun you add rapid fire to is going to improve so if you have the chance to add rapid fire to any one of these weapons I would really recommend doing it. It really improves improves the weapon and kills everything a lot faster. So coming in at number three is the Ripper. Now this gun is located pretty much all around the map, but the first place that you can get it is the very first section here in the map just as you spawn in. Now the reason why I like this gun so much, first of all, it's like an assault rifle SMG hybrid. In close quarters you can switch it to the SMG mode, your fire rate is going to be increased. So really helpful but if you're at a little bit more of a long range combat like in this first section even though i'm using the assault rifle mode right now in the first section you can use the smg mode because it's a little bit more close quarters but once you get into that second section things open up a bit so you can use that assault rifle mode then and i love how you can switch between modes makes this gun really really good reload time isn't as bad it is kind of slow for like an smg assault rifle um that is kind of annoying but other than that really really good i highly recommend using this gun as soon as you spawn in grab this gun right off the bat and you can switch it out in the second section later on for a different weapon so coming in at number two is the honey badger and i gotta say i really overlooked this gun i never picked it up i saw it was there never looked at it never picked it up and I thought it was going to be crap, but it is actually really, really good. Now, the first reason why I love this gun is the reload time, okay? Again, in this video, I do have the specialist reload, so you can see I'm reloading really quickly. But if you don't have the specialist uh, class, if you are medic, engineer, or tank, this gun reloads pretty quickly without having any sort of sleight of hand and that is really really important for this map also this gun is powerful it is very powerful i do have um a holographic and rapid fire on right here in this gameplay um but rapid fire with this thing is really really good the range also is really good as you can see i highly recommend using explosive ammo for this gun actually i recommend using explosive ammo for every gun uh so that was my number two choice and let's see what number one is so the best gun on mayday is the venom x it, it's pretty obvious now on Mayday, there are four versions of the Venom X. There's just the regular Venom X that shoots those, uh, just the regular green acid. Um, then there's the Venom SX, the Venom LX, and the Venom FX. Now, in this video, I am using the Venom LX, the lightning version of the gun. Now, this gun, the only down part to this weapon is the ammo count. The ammo count is disappointing. I think it's a little bit too low. I think 10 shots would be a good maximum, but I think what does this have like a six shot maximum 
I think that's just a little bit too low. Um, but this is a gun you use in bad situations. As you just saw there, I had the Rhino spawn in and I broke up my Venom LX and killed them just instantly. And if I'm in a bad situation, that's really when I use the, the Venom, whatever version of the Venom X I have. And I don't really, I can't really run around, you can't really run around with this gun and use it as a primary. It's only for bad situations. So anyways guys, that is all for now. Please leave the video a thumbs up and in the comment section below, let me know what your favorite gun is on Mayday. Peace out.